In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a very handy little device. It's a, a temperature measuring device. It's electronic. This one happens to be a Steinel. I, got, I bought this for $25 Canadian. Probably got this a year or so ago. It was on sale. Anyway, this is not a sponsored video. I will show you the little handbook that comes with it if you want to go look for this particular temperature measuring device. Uh, how this works, and you're going to see it here in a minute, is there's two LEDs that come out and uh, they create two individual light sources and the device ideally will measure the temperature if it's about 40 millimeters from the surface that you want to measure the temperature of. When the two lights intersect, they become one and you know you're about 40 millimeters away. Um, this is what I generally use this for, is for testing to verify if a thermostat is working on a vehicle. I'll put links below. I have uh, some links on thermostats. They're basically a device which when an engine heats up to a certain point, the thermostat opens up and it lets coolant flow into your engine to cool the engine down. A uh, very common problem with uh, uh, vehicles that are overheating that is that the thermostat is stuck. So at the end of the video we're just going to use it to quickly verify if a thermostat is working properly. Our temperature reading tool only has two buttons. This is an on and that's the hold. I press it on like that. It doesn't have an off button because our little manual over here says 45 seconds after you turn it on, it will turn off if it does not, uh, if no other button is pressed. The hold button is uh, really convenient because if you, maybe you're measuring temperature in a ductwork or something and you're holding your arm down there and you can't actually see the LCD display here, hit the hold button and it'll keep that temperature reading. So, if I read this ice pack here, and I press, see that our two lights have become one. Now I'm going to press the hold button to save that temperature. And <laughs> I can't twist my arm over there. Uh, it says 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if you want to go Celsius, I'm in Canada, so we use Celsius. You hold the two buttons down at once. And that displays, and we can see that it's now saying 22 degrees Celsius, which is valid because that's about room temperature. Now, if I hand it, for instance, if I point it at our table over here, room temperature, I'd say it's about 20 degrees in here. Press the hold button, and 19.5 degrees Celsius. So, roughly room temperature. Just going to display that again. We'll read our temperature on our ice block. Move it till the two LEDs make one light there. Press the hold button. Let's see if I can press it so I can turn this thing around this time. Uh, like that, maybe. And 2.6 degrees Celsius which is pretty accurate because zero degrees Celsius is the freezing temperature of water. And this ice pack, as you can see, has been kind of out for a while. I started to do the video before. So anyway, that's how you use it. Just gonna quickly do a, um, a heat test. I was gonna use this temperature cage there to compare. However, had a uh, unfortunate incident where I dropped it into the uh, teapot and it is no longer usable so basically same deal pointed towards this pot which is a boiling i just boiled some water in it a couple of minutes ago press the hold button 33 degrees celsius and let's go fahrenheit Hold the two buttons together. There we go. Point it at the pot. Yeah, 
and press the hold button. And what's that? 97 degrees Fahrenheit. Take the cover off and hit the hold button. And we got 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So you get the idea. The vehicle we're going to do our temperature check of the thermostat on is a 2007 Chrysler 300. Here's our hose to the radiator. So the coolant is in the radiator here. We follow this hose up. Here's our thermostat housing in here. So the thermostat itself is going to, oops, am I getting that? Thermostat itself will be in there. And we are going to just uh, put our temperature gauge on the radiator hose anywhere along here. I'm making this video in Nova Scotia, Canada, and it is December, late December. Here's our temperature gauge. I've been sitting here for quite a long time waiting for this car to heat up enough that the gauge would go up to the middle roughly around that point that we want the vehicle to be running at. Below this, your engine would be running inefficient if the temperature gauge was, was too far below the middle range. The fuel wouldn't be igniting properly and stuff like that. Above this roughly center range, your vehicle's getting gonna get too hot. You can see that red there, that's the critical. That's where you want to turn your engine off if you get up in there. Anyways, we're about the middle, so let's go and use our temperature gauge just to see approximately what temperature we are reading at the thermo. Okay, I think you get the general idea. Uh, the engine's running a little bit hotter. I, I thought around 200 degrees Fahrenheit, 212. You can see that I was going back to our timer over there and it'll fluctuate at that temperature. Um, hope this was, this was helpful. Thanks for watching. And uh, I've started a Rumble account also and I will put a link uh, to that Rumble account down below the video.